What is the best country in the world? Tell me right now, right now, tell me. Well, you're fucking wrong, because I actually figured it out, believe it or not. A while back I did a lot of community polls about the best country in each region and continent until we got left with just one nation worldwide and this video will be sharing all of the results with you. Now this is just some quick heads up and some rules about each of the rounds of the tournament. Round 1 was a playoff from each region where we chose the best country from every region on earth. Round 2 was a battle royale of each continent where only the best of the best could move on. Round 3 was international with a bunch of different countries from each and every continent and fighting against each other. Round 4 was the semi-final between the final 4 countries and finally round 5 was the grand finale comrades where we finally found out what the best country is. Now that we got all of the rules sorted out make sure to leave a like and subscribe comrades and let us begin. So North America started off with a big matchup of the North American powers, however Canada just barely scraped ahead of the Americans while El Salvador takes it home for Central America. <laughs> Now we did also see Cuba and Barbados blaze through the early Caribbean rounds. Now there is one interesting thing and that's uh, the third and final Caribbean round ended in a tie between Bermuda and Costa Rica so they, you know, both moved on. This is also why I should preface that some territories were added to fill in spaces such as Greenland and Bermuda so you know, you know, some bullshit you might disagree with. In South America, Panama and French Guyana sweep through comrades, both of them not technically even being South American countries per se, which you know is kind of funny. Like, do, do you all just hate South Americans? I mean, like, I don't blame you, Suriname got zero fucking votes. <laughs> anyway, Brazil won the last round so decisively, you know, you know, of course, I mean, look at them Brazilians. I, I, I mean, I mean, uh... Now in Europe we see a surprising British victory? They got over 50% of the vote, what the fuck? And then a French victory? <laughs> what the fuck is life? Finland and Sweden fight for the Nordic Queen, but the Finnish managed to make it to the finish line and finish. You know, you know, you catching my drift? Switzerland comes through with the biggest sweep of the tournament so far with 66% of the votes. I mean, I like Switzerland too, but like, but like, I thought Italy was going to get way more. Germany dominates Central Europe just like they did in the 40s and Estonia wins the Baltic vote, even though they hate being Baltic. Wow, fuck you Estonia, I mean it's sad seeing my nation of Poland losing round one, but they still make it through nevertheless. Russia dominates Eastern Europe just like they did in the Soviet time, so we chillin', we are good, you know, you know. Bulgaria proves themselves as the best Balkan country, you know, just me saying that alone probably started four different genocides in the Balkans. And Serbia wins the second Balkan round, beating out Croatia, so Serbians, get ready to, you know, get genocided like in 1943. Now Turkey might not be European, but they won the Euro vote, even though surprisingly Montenegro gave them a good competition, you know, I would've expected Montenegro to just sleep Leap through it, but you know, good on them. Morocco and Egypt sweep through Northern Africa while Ethiopia takes the East and Sierra Leone and Ghana take the West, comrades. But fuck Ghana. Fuck that shit all. <laughs> Now this is the real matchup of the tournament, Nigeria versus Togo, they went head to head, they were both number one on and off, so I decided to just let them both through the round, you know, also because we love Togo, Glorera Togo. Gabon and Rwanda take their victories with South Africa and Zimbabwe taking the south, and Madagascar being voted the best African island, I mean, the competition is almost non-existent, but you know, you know, you take whatever you can get. Australia beats out New Zealand, which, you know, okay, okay. Tonga and Tuvalu also get in Oceania, so, you know, it's very random. New Zealand kind of got robbed, so I let them go through anyway. Kazakhstan gets the vote of the stands, while Israel wins in the Middle East, beating out Palestine. What the fuck? 
Saudi Arabia and the UAE go head to head, however, UAE just barely edges out and Qatar and India win their own decisive rounds, comrades. Qatar probably owned all of the Indian voters. <laughs> Singapore also won with 79%, making Sri Lanka and Maldives get 0%. Japan, Thailand, and Indonesia also get their own wins, comrades. Very good. Well done. So that was round one, comrades. Quite a lot of upsets. However, these are the nations that we have left for round two. And holy shit. What the? This is... This list is quite expansive. You know, you know, comrades. Now, some nations have actually been brought back for round two, uh, mainly because... Well, we didn't have enough countries, so you will see New Zealand, Poland, Palestine, and a few others come as being brought back. You know, some of the fan favorites, you know? Unless you're Jewish. Or German. Canada once again dominates North America, but surprisingly Greenland gets the other North American win after being brought back. So good job Greenland. While Brazil eats up all of South America with such a decisive win and Switzerland does the exact same thing in Europe. Two very strong countries. So far it's just been sweeps comrades and Germany is no different kicking Russia's ass comrades. Ukraine wins their own round and gets the redemption once again, Poland losing. I thought you all loved Poland, what the fuck? Hello Biden. It's Zelensky. We need 5 billion rockets to bomb Donetsk children. Togo manages to make it as the African victors, comrades, making us all deeply proud. We love Togo. Comrades, we do love Togo up here, comrades. Obviously, we, we love Togo on this channel. We donated like $300 to Togo, comrades. We, we love Togo. Uganda dominates their round, comrades, even beating up Nigeria, with Australia once again taking Oceania, and Israel also wins somehow. What the f Fuck! How, how, how about all of you just letting Israel win this shit, comrades? What, what the fuck? Comrades, free Palestine for fuck's sake! Palestine even lost to UAE later on, so bring them back did nothing. Japan destroys in Asia, and Singapore's huge one round one victory really didn't mean anything when you look at it. You know, it's like that saying, there's always a bigger Asian. <laughs> And that was round two, comrades. A lot of unexpected losses, especially from Nigeria and Singapore, comrades. But this is our final list for round three, comrades, where it's going to start getting international, where countries on different continents will go against each other, comrades. So I'm actually quite excited for this shit. <laughs> Germany and Canada have the tough fight, but Germany wins with Ethiopia and Israel getting jack shit, finally. Greenland, Togo and UAE fight. And well here comrades, we sadly see the fall of Togo. You know, I, I wish they made it further. We still love you Togo. Glorero Togo. <coughs> you know, Switzerland once again kills the fucking competition, not even close. And Japan, Ukraine and Brazil fight. Now this poll is quite interesting because at the time of the poll, Ukraine won. However, I think the algorithm pushed the poll back, comrades, and Japan just fucking wins now, comrades. However, we are going by the original poll, so Ukraine does make it through the round. Hello, Biden. It's Zelensky. And just like that, we are down to the final four. That being Greenland, Switzerland, Germany, and Ukraine. Or it should be Japan, comrades, but uh, you know, you know. Who gives a shit? Comment down below who you think is going to win, comrades. Now, I'm not going to comment because I fucking know. I made the video, you stupid bitch. Comrades, Switzerland kills Germany. 75% of the vote, it's not even close. Switzerland has such a strong entry to the final and they kind of seem like the obvious winner, right? However, Greenland also beats Ukraine with 73% of the vote. So both Switzerland and Greenland are going into the finals after sweeping their enemies. This is going to be very interesting and, well, who the fuck is going to win? And now the grand finale, comrades. Who do you think is going to win? Comment down below, comrades. Greenland and icy shit all, comrades. That has like 50,000 people and like about one city, if you even count it as a city, or Switzerland, a grand, rich, high development, amazing country to visit, comrades. Which one do you really think we win, comrades? Now, the answer to this will determine whether this quiz is shit or it actually worked out well, comrades. So, uh, let's see the answer. <laughs> okay, comrades, so I am actually here to announce the results, comrades, and well, uh, well, give me, give, come on, give me a... Give me a drum roll, please. Come on. <coughs> um, 
the, the winner of the greatest country in the world and so forth and uh, no one gives a fuck comrades it is a uh, it's Switzerland and it's not even close Switzerland won by 73% comrades it, it, it wasn't even fair there was no battle to begin with comrades what the fuck I mean, I don't know what any of you really expected. Switzerland is this beautiful country with one of the highest human development indexes, one of the highest GDPs per capita, one of the top world economies, and it has beautiful sights to see, comrades. So I, I don't know what the fuck any of you thought. This is a picture of the average landscape in Greenland. There is no landscape. It is dead. Charlie, what the fuck are you doing? But yeah, comrades, that, that is the end of his quiz. Now, what, what have we learned at the end of this, comrades? It is that, uh... This quiz means nothing. Comrades, countries like Bulgaria made it higher than the United States. There is no rules here. Comrades, there is no... There's, no, there's nothing to even talk about here. Comrades, this is a shithouse test, comrades. And But yes, I'm glad all of you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed if you watched this far. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope you like the new setup. I mean, I'm still going to be recording videos standing up, but you know what? Some different angles, maybe. Anyway, comrades, leave a like, subscribe, and make sure to let communism streak begin.